In today's video we're gonna be taking a look at the semi-final game between Magnus Carlsen and Nojebek Abdusatorov in the Freestyle Chess Go Challenge 2024 first ever classical tournament for Fischer Random Chess. Here is the starting position for both sides, the king is on d1 instead of e1. Rook is on f1, a1, kind of confusing and let's see what Magnus does and how he develops first. He plays g4. I mean, even for me it's hard to understand what's going on here. But let's see, e5, knight g3 developing the knight. And going forward, Magnus won't even castle in this game. He won't need it. d4 is played. Look! It's quite interesting because look, this pawn is attacking d4 square, and Magnus still he's like, I don't care, he just want to open a position. Maybe his idea is maybe e takes d4, knight f5, and the point is d4 and g7 pawn are attacked. Knight b6, knight d3, he's saying, Still, I don't care, all right, d6. I mean, and not your break doesn't want to take this as well. F3, which is a mistake, takes, now not your break takes, bishop d4, c5, bishop of 2, c4, and I think the point is, if this knight goes somewhere, the queen has this beautiful e5 square, or well, let's say knight b4, queen f5. But, uh, I mean, Magnus plays uh, bishop b6, trading this bishop for this knight, a takes b6, knight b4, d5, c3, bishop f4, and now Magnus plays knight h5, attacking both bishop and pawn on g7, Norderberg goes bishop h6, protecting g7 pawn, f4 and now Norderberg castles look he can make short castle I mean yeah this just works like this it's it is short castle but in the notation if you can see on the right side oh you can't see it but yeah it says long castle uh knight g3 and look now Magnus hasn't castled yet, I mean, he's kind of two moves away from it, but he doesn't castle yet. G6, now Magnus plays e3, still the king is uncastled. Queen d7, queen e2. Maybe Magnus wants to go this way. Rook e8. Now Nottenberg threatens maybe d4 at some point. Uh, I don't know, he still needs to develop his pieces, Magnus doesn't want to castle yet, knight c2 is played, now Magnus wants to place his knight on d4, and it would be absolutely insanely powerful, and uh, Norderberg plays bishop f8, trying to go bishop c5, to shake this knight from d4, now he plays b4, and the point is, if c takes b3, a takes b3, now a file is opened. And Magnus didn't castle his king, but this king is castled and it has a lot of troubles in this position. But instead, Norderberg plays bishop 6 h3, h5, and now Magnus plays knight d4, which is a mistake f5 first would be a great move but magnus plays it the move earlier because after knight d4 instead of playing h4 knight h1 and here to play f5 so and i think the point is that at some point this knight will go to e4 and black are no longer worse but instead uh Norderberg played h takes g4 he thought he would take a pawn, but here it turns out after f5, black are in trouble. So if they take knight e6 first, and bishop f5 comes with a great power. Uh, so 
here, Neutrebeck played bishop f7, h takes g4, queen c7 attacking this knight on g3, queen f3, bishop h6 again attacking this pawn. Neutrebeck is trying to create some counterplay, though computer thinks Magnus is completely alright. Rook e1 protecting this pawn, bishop g5, yeah, a4. Now Magnus maybe wants to try to go a5, open a file and try to create some chances. G takes a5, bishop f5, king b, rook e2. So again, Magnus should have played a5 and go in with this idea of opening a file. Because, yeah, again, he can double rooks later and try to checkmate black skin on a file. But he decided to play rook e2, and again, the idea is kind of the same. Go in rook a2, a5, a6, a6, a6 takes b7, and checkmate on a file. So, Nodjerbeck plays knight g6. Knight is going to e5, d3, or let's say knight h4. So, Magnus decided take, take, knight g f5. Queen f5, and now rook also protects h2 square, because if rook was only one, then queen would jump to h2, and who knows, there could be some very uncomfortable checks. So queen f5 is played, queen f4 is kind of threatening, and now Magnus plays a5, queen f4. But now queen f4 is a bad move. Queen f4 takes, takes, because he takes, and now this skin is not safe. Because white are threatened to go rook a2 and rook a8 checkmate. So Nodenberg takes because now after rook a2, Nodenberg has rook g1, king a2, rook a1, rook a1, rook a8, rook h1. So and here Nodenberg blunders. He should have played very. I mean, this bishop up 4 move doesn't even look like great but white have no moves here because knight g7 rook e3 king f2 king c8 yeah white are winning but it's not that clear yet so but after rook h1 Neuterbeck played rook f8 which is a huge mistake and now the computer shows it's plus 7 so Magnus played knight d6 and Neuterbeck resigned. So when I first looked at this position, I was like, why is it? But then after a few seconds, I realized black are in complete zugzwang. They have no good moves. And this rook, what's more important, has no moves. And now white have simple idea, go knight e6, knight c7, rook a1, rook a8, checkmate. And there is no defense. Like, let's say rook d8, knight d6. And the point is rook d6, rook h8. And if rook goes here, knight c5. And let's say rook goes here again, and now knight d7. That's beautiful, because king a8, rook a1. And if rook d7, Again, rook h8, bishop e8, rook e8, rook d8, rook d8, checkmate, Magnus wins the first game of the semifinals. In the second pair, Levon Aronian beat uh, Fabiana Kurana. And tomorrow, both Fabiana and Nodjerbiak needs to win on demand with white pieces. We, we still don't know this, the position which will be on the board, but it's very exciting to see what will happen tomorrow. And I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Magnus wins at all. And I mean, it's a great tournament. I like the idea of Magnus. And let's see what happens in the second game of the semifinal. See you soon. Bye.